Rule 34. You might be wondering what items are also out there that you can buy and sell if you're interested in it. Were you interested in knowing what those other items are, Becky? Yes. Because, I mean, I didn't know if maybe the warm panties and dirty socks were enough for you. Um, That's kind of weird for me. I don't think that I would be purchasing anything like that. But, well, maybe you, know, you want to start your own business of selling these items. Um, no, I'm still working on the bottling my pussy juice in the beer bottle. <laughs> I haven't started yet. <laughs> well, let me tell you about some services that are out there being offered, which some of these, I'm not going to lie, I've never <gasps> even thought about or I'm heard sorry. of. I'm um, sorry. <laughs> and some of them, I'm just ready to try. Like, I'll provide this service too. I got you. Um, the first one is called Watch Me Clean. Um, Pay twenty dollars, and you pick a room from this lady's house, and watch a live video of her cleaning it. You can also pick her outfit, like she's a Barbie. She can be naked. She can have a maid outfit. She can lingerie, whatever. Like totally dressing your own Barbie. Yeah, the rooms wow. are priced based on size and amount of work required. So it might be more than $20, but I guess $20 is like the base price for like her smallest room or whatever. Um, and it is important to know, um, cause I know a bunch of dudes just got like really hyped up, like, oh my God, she's gonna come over to my house and clean naked for me. I bet I'll pay for that. Yes, that would be amazing. But no, that is not what these women are doing. They're offering for you to watch them clean their own house because that's what they do. They're not coming to get your house and cleaning naked. They're going to clean their house naked, which I'd be down for that. Like, you want to watch me clean my house naked? I will. I will do all of that. Get some up close I will pay the fuck shops, out of anybody that wants to watch me tub. clean my own house naked. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. To me, it doesn't sound like a pretty sight because let me tell you, when I start cleaning, like actually cleaning my house, I'm it's looking like crunch bowl real quick. I got like the messy bun going, half my hair like this. I don't even look right. And I'm just like, <laughs> like not pretty, but if you want to watch it, damn, pay me to oh, do no. it. Oh, no, 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 no. So me, I am usually got music blaring and I'm dancing around the whole time. I usually just while I'm cleaning the house. That's and I got my hair like a messy bun, kind of ponytail kind of thing. I, I start I, I start off that Miss Trunchbold look going. And then when I'm almost done, that's when I turn on the music and I start having a good time because I'm like, yeah, oh, I'm almost done. No, I, I can't, I cannot. I'm, I'm, I think I'm physically incapable of cleaning my house at all without music. Yeah, music is important when cleaning. Yes. Um, one of the other things, that is a, a, apparently a, a thing I not know about, which this one, I am 110% on board for. I know I've said this before. We've talked about stuff like this men could buy or women could buy. Uh, again, I will say it. If you're interested in this, for the love of God, hit me up because I got you. This particular service is called ignore sessions and they go for $25 a piece starting price I would imagine ready to know what an ignore session is Becky because yes, let me I tell do you, want to know I am super curious about this fucking amazing pay the lady $25 and she will ignore you while you watch her do whatever it is she is doing and you pay for it Oh my god, that totally reminds me of the chick that the guy pays her to spend his money. Yeah, it, it's it's a lot like that. I guess the only difference with that is the guy is constantly hitting her up, like asking for her attention, and she has to ignore him. Which again, a hundred and ten percent on board for. Hundred and ten. <laughs> I am 
like I have I have never been meant for something more in my entire life than to ignore somebody <laughs> and be paid for it. Because let me tell you, I'm so good at ignoring people. Like I do it on accident. Like I'll do it. I'll do it on purpose. I'll get paid for that. I have no problem with that at all. I'm on board for it. So if there's any beta males out there listening, watching the show, step out of your little comfort zone and hit me up for an ignore session. It'll change your life. I promise. I would love to ignore somebody and get paid. I love to. The only thing I do, the only downside I would see with that though, is that's that's probably where you get those weird, creepy stalkers from. Oh, they become yeah. obsessed, and I yeah. don't know about all that. Yeah. No. Anyway. No stalkers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We don't do that here. Uh, the next one. Again, hundred and ten percent on board. Hundred and ten percent. Becky, you're going to be on board. I'm sure there's dudes out there who are on board with this happening. Well, buy me dinner. Buy me dinner. And tell me. And tell me. So basically what it is, is the woman orders her usual order from her favorite food place. And he sends lots of pictures and videos of it eating it in return. And if you want her to try one of your favorite places or your favorite dishes, she can and she will for an extra fee. So you go you get paid to go out for dinner alone. All you have to do is take pictures and video record it and send it to the dude and you get paid. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh yeah, I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. yeah. Hello, fat girl. Love food, okay? Fucking pay for my dinner, please. Like, okay, there is a huge difference between a fat girl and voluptuous. You are voluptuous, my beautiful queen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I am. No, anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna say this right now. I know that there's women out there going to like five star restaurants and shit on a man's dime with offering this little service going out to like five star fucking restaurants and shit like that paying like eighty dollars plate let me tell you ben you're out there paying these women for that come to me come to me you know why i eat the same thing okay i will live off of taco dale taco dales you really where is that <laughs> taco dales i will live off of taco bell's five dollar craving box okay so for seven dollars okay because you had to Taxes. for seven dollars you can pay and get videos of me shoving my face i will warn you though when i when it comes to food i'm not a lady i am not i turn into like a 200 pound linebacker from a fucking nfl <laughs> superstar football team like not women like in the least bit there's nothing feminine about me when it comes to food I am an animal. Um, I just have a question. Um, <laughs> Me, I have a question for you. I I will bite myself if I get too close to my food. <laughs> Me, I have a question I'm for you. <laughs> we have a question from the audience. The rock, let, let the rock ask you a quick question. Okay. Do you have cookies? <laughs> Okay. This next. I have cookies. They're 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 down in here. <laughs> How do you eat a cookie? <laughs> now, this service is something that I do offer on the record regular, and I've done it like three or four times. I actually love doing this one. It's one of the few things that I offer that I actually enjoy doing. Well, I mean, there's a lot of things that I do that I enjoy doing. <laughs> But this one is called the girlfriend experience. Now, this one is offered at $60. And I know some girls, I think the lowest I've ever seen a girlfriend experience offered at was $50. And the highest I've ever seen one offered at was like $80. Now, is this, is this like that meme that I see all over Facebook for the holiday date? 
to go to your family's house? Sort of. <laughs> sort of. Now, I don't know how this one works exactly. It just lists off what you would get in it, but it doesn't say how long it lasts. I know that, like, myself and the girls that I work with, they do it by, like, a day or weekly or even monthly experience. And that's where that's where their pricing comes in. Um, this girl says that she offers... A good morning and a good night text message. Lots of work selfies, four naughty work selfies, four mm -hmm. nude pictures from home after work, 10 minutes of one-on-one -on -one sexting, text all day, and plenty of bad jokes. Which for $60, even if it's only $60 a day, or if it's $60 a day, that's a steal. Um, I would probably do five for that. Just because the sexting, I normally send a lot more pics with it, too. You know, sexting away, you sending some pictures with it, too. That's my type of deal. So I would probably offer that for about 65 a day. Or, like, maybe maybe um, 100 for the whole week. Which, again, steal my book, but whatever. <laughs> but that one is, like, a really fun experience for both parties. That one is pretty popular for a fun experience. Um, oh, is that's a, oh shit. Go ahead. Any other beer? This one, Becky, this one's for Bob. This oh, one. this one's for Bob? Yes. Okay. It's, ready? Called yep. Foot candy. Foot for, candy. For $20, foot candy. What it is, is this girl has a bag of gummy candy and she has stepped all over it. Perfect for anyone with a foot fetish. You also get a set of pics of her stepping on the candies. Other items can be smashed and shipped on request as well. So it doesn't have to be just candy. Like, you could get a whole ass cake with a footprint in it. Ta-da! So, so you, you can request anything you want to be stomped on and sent to you. Yeah, that is a, that's a popular thing. That when I was doing just footwork, I ran into a lot. Um, there was guys who would request videos of like stomping on like a teddy bear or um, like watermelon or applesauce. Um, like I don't know how far his foot fetish like goes. Hmm? I don't know if that's I don't know if that's really something. No, he likes rubbing my feet when we're having sex. Oh, he's not like a deep foot fetish. Gotcha. I don't well, know. I mean, hey, I just figured that. No, no, no. Beck. <laughs> Beck. Beck. What? Beck. what? Beck. This one, this one was designed for you. Okay. Okay. This is the one that you could get behind. The one that you could get in on. Like you could make the most with this one. Okay. Are you ready for it? Do I get to punch somebody in the dick? No, it's even better <laughs> oh, than that, okay. Becky. It's oh my God, I'm making my dreams come true. Okay, what? I'm about, I'm about to make your pussy get soaked, okay? I'm about to get you okay. wetter than Bob ever has. Ready? Oh. These sessions, it's called Have a Beer With Me. <gasps> uh -huh. I told you, I told you. So, what this girl is offering for $45 making $45 from Becky. Got to jump on this train, okay? What it is is you get you get to have a live cam session with the girl while she drinks the beer. 15 to 30 minute sessions where anything is possible but nothing is guaranteed except for the fact that she will be drinking beer. Okay. Um then I have to interject for a second. I am now yeah. charging for my time. Mike this show is no longer free to view <laughs> and we are charging $45 per half an hour so that they can watch me talk to patients while I'm drinking a beer. <laughs> uh, Do you masturbate? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. It's your rectum, rectum not, not mine. mine. Rectum damn near killed him. <laughs> This is, the, <laughs> this is the last item that we have up for 
at grabs, I guess. Uh, the last thing that we ran across that we thought would pique everybody's interest here. Used vibrators. Nope. I'm out. Nope. 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 Again. Use it once. It's garbage. Nope. You, nope. I've nope. heard. I don't care if you bleach the fucker for a year. I don't think never. it's like girls selling this for other women to use. I think it is girls <laughs> selling it for men who enjoy. Okay, we're just going to no, leave it at For men no, who enjoy. No, no, okay. you don't. No, you don't. No, no, no. So a dude has a fucking vibrator at his house, brings home a piece of ass from the oh, fucking bar. Oh, fucking coming. He puts this vibrator on them, and it's like, a, it's a communal. No, I'm not okay with that. I am I'm not, not using thinking that. that I'm thinking the men who buy these are not using them on other women. I'm thinking the men who I buy think. these are keeping them in a, like, you Ziploc can think bag, that you in a want, drawer. But- no, no, and lick no, and no. whatever later, so okay. he can imagine so, the girl was there. Okay, so Anyways. nobody can see Mike right now, but Mike, would you use another man's used pocket pussy? I'm not, not saying that. The not other men. Use not them. no, no. I don't care. I don't care. Would you use somebody else's sex toys at all? No, but that's not what this is for. This is care. for the men to have the women's thumb that comes on the vibrator. Anyways, this lady says that she's had it for the that, last that 10 years. was pathetic. <laughs> she said she's had it for the past 10 years and she can't count how many times it's made her come. Let me come on it once more before sending it off to you. Get the vibrator and a video using, of me using it one last time. For $150. Okay. By the way. Would you? Would you? If you were a guy, would you? Would you want that? Now, now here's, here's a question. question. After some of the men that I've met while doing sex work and hearing some of the requests that other girls have gotten and after some of the requests I've gotten, there are weirder things out there, okay? I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> and I, I don't know for would, one Mike, second. Mike, would you want this? Mike, would you want this? Seriously. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just I'm wild. Wild. Yeah. Do you want I'm a vibrator gonna... that some woman has just come all over just so that you can have it? No? Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Can you guys oh, yeah. Say it. Just oh, asking no. because I'm naked. Well, I'm always naked, but whatever. Okay. Well, on. as I said, though. <laughs> As I said, there are weirder things out there, Becky, and we're going to talk about some of those weirder things, not oh. in detail or anything, but I'm just going to give you a little a little quick rundown of those weirder things, so maybe then you can mm-hmm. get off your high horse about the used vibrator thing. Oh, I'm a high horse, you bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Understand why some men would like it. Okay. Catch me on song. How about that? Here's some of the I'm other things. Here's some yeah, of the other things that I have not only been asked to sell, I've heard other women actually sell these items or have had men request them from these other women, okay? One thing, and I will tell you, this is actually pretty popular. I've never done it. I don't think I could ever do it. It's probably the one fetish that I could not get into, even if it paid really good money like it does. Shark Week items. Period panties, vials of period blood, Use pads, use tampons. There's men out there asking to buy that stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, I believe you. Mm-hmm. It's a twisted yeah. fucked up world out there. See, this is why I'm the vanilla one. Because I think this stuff is weird. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that used vibrator and sound so bad right now, is it? No, it okay, is. Get ready. It, it Here's the other thing. <laughs> Here's the other thing that there are people out there buying. Okay? Used used condoms oh my god i just saw a meme for a reversible condom <laughs> yeah well, there's a lot of the there. one side is dirty you can flip it Did over you condoms that's tonight? probably why there's guys out there buying them there you go there's men out there reusing condoms how about that oh i know there always has been oh my god another popular item 
another popular item out there, which again, I've actually been asked about this hair, body hair. What? No. Body hair. No. Armpit hair, no. lip hair, pubic hair, no. head hair, all of it. Oh. Men have asked me for it. They want to buy it. There's this one, I had this one guy, and I don't remember his name. Even if I did, I wouldn't disclose that. He had a very specific request. He's very popular in the community. He's gotten around asking for the same exact thing from multiple women. He asks for pubic hair. He likes it to be a certain length. What? He wants it to be uncolored, which I don't know who's out there dying their pubes. Who the that fuck is dying their pubes? Oh, no, I've actually heard of that before, actually. I've heard of that. I had not. Apparently, it is. Um, yeah, it is. It is a huge man wanted, thing. He wanted Nobody virgin, looked at my boobs. Virgin pubic hair, as he called it. Here's another thing, Becky. What? That, seem, what? that makes the vibrator seem normal, okay? There's people okay. out there asking to buy trash. Food, 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 gum. They're leftovers, whatever. They're garbage. But garbage is a very personal part. Why would you, why would you sell your garbage? Sell your food stuff. That's what no. they want. No. Vibrator seems normal now, huh? Anyway, here's another yeah, one. It actually does. Here's another one. You're and this one actually is yeah. something we talked about a few episodes ago. A, a few episodes. I need a second. I'm fucking factory. Wait, what, what are we talking about this thing? Because <laughs> you can't talk. From a few episodes ago, we talked about it. Baked goods with bodily fluids. Oh, yeah. Okay. With the semen, with the, the, the vagina juice, whatever. These guys want it. Yep, um, yep. I remember that. Well, that was the Thanksgiving episode. Yep. I've even heard yep. of guys wanting girls fit on like suckers or spit in a cake and send it to them. That's so cool. I've heard of that one before. Why is our show about really fucked up weird things? Because who else have we ever talk asked about them? it? Not us. Why do we? I mean, I'm granted, we like to talk about the weird things that are out there in the world, but it, it's funny. Listen, the, the speaker wire up the guy's dick will never go away. <laughs> People still talk to me about that. I was talking about it today. Where are you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. There's two more items left on this list that if you haven't decided already that the vibrator is perfectly normal to sell, <laughs> these two things will definitely convince you that it is. Okay. okay. One okay. thing, parts in a jar. Men are paying women oh my God, I fart just into jars. <laughs> and I just saw something about that. Yeah. Yep. $500. And that one chick is making $500. A fucking jar of fart. Yeah. And ready? Last but not least, chocolate and or lemonade items. And it is code for exactly what you think it's code for. It's okay? code. <laughs> yes. Your shit and piss is something someone out there wants to buy. Okay? And you still think a used vibrator is a weird thing to sell? Yes! They're all weird to sell. They're all fucking, it's not normal. It's not normal. Nobody pays my bills, bitch. <laughs> well, you can sell it all you want. You can buy it all you want. I'm not doing it. It's not normal. Their own. That's true. But well, honestly, if, if Bob was into weird shit, I wouldn't fucking judge him for it. I'd just be like, well, we got no. our relationship and you do your own fucking thing. No, because we're not here to judge. We're just here to let you know what's out there. Okay? Oh, yeah. Pretty much. Before. And I'm drunk and I laugh at everything. So, you know, fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> the next thing that we're going to talk about is normal. Okay, Becky? It's a very normal thing. It's very natural. It happens all the time. Okay? Like That's missionary true. style? <laughs> it's, I honestly, I honestly, hands down, think that this is more common than missionary style now. And it well, it is. can't be a gentleman holding the goddamn door open for you, can it? It is. 